In this episode, we're checking out LEGO Masterpieces by Paul Heatherton. Welcome, my fellow LEGO fans, to another edition of Old Brick Town. Beware of the streetcar named Destruction and Batman vs. Joker Gotham Theater Showdown. The green-haired Mad Menace unleashes Joker gas. This creation took 180 hours to build and 15,100 LEGO bricks. The Art Deco movie theater is the highlight, but my eye gravitates toward the original Batman helicopter and logo. The column design and use of LEGO wedge elements is astounding. There's a lot to take in. Maybe you can incorporate some of these LEGO ideas into your next build. I'm almost tempted to overhaul the Palace Cinema. The next build is also Batman themed. It's the Joker's Fun House. With 24,500 LEGO bricks and 215 hours construction time, it too has a lot for the eyes to feast upon. Can you spot all the obstacles the Cape Crusaders need to overcome to capture their famed nemesis? Here is an earlier work, The Fun House, a Day of the Dead themed amusement park attraction that debuted at the 2012 BrickCon and won Best in Town. If you're a fan of Mouse Guard, here is a real treat, though you don't need to read a single page to appreciate this creation. The next display is Sunday Afternoon Tea Train to Tetley. With 16,700 bricks and 170 hours to build, this scene depicts a quaint English countryside and a teapot water tower. Though not many figure scale, you can still appreciate the level of detail. Also, the train station is a great example of how to take a bright color, such as yellow, and tone it down with a darker color. Only Alice and the Cheshire Cat notice the destruction these factories cause to feed an ever-consuming populace hungry for more wasteful products. This is a palace in Wonderland, a massive work with 25,600 Lego and a whopping 420 hours to build. The details are too numerous and I'm glad I caught this on video because I'll draw inspiration from this work for years to come. What draws me to this work is the transition from micro scale to minifig scale. You can easily do the same for your own Lego city. Build micro buildings around the edge of a bigger minifigure town. It's something I'll consider doing later on. But for right now, I'm just going to enjoy all the detail. Hey, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and please leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. And if you like this video, 
watch a few of my others. But more importantly, happy building.